everyone, welcome to my channel. If you've never been here before, I'm Jones, and today I am taking you on a little picnic with me. Actually, I'm gonna show you how I am putting together a picnic that we're gonna have with my family. So I'm just gonna show you what I'm making, and then later we're gonna hopefully go on a picnic. It's been raining a lot here in Colorado, and so I don't know what the weather's gonna be like later, but Hopefully, if the weather's good, we will be going to Garden of the Gods for a picnic or somewhere else cool nearby. But if it is raining, we just might have to have our picnic indoors. We'll see what happens. So like I said, these are just simple recipes that you can make anytime for a picnic or even just for a meal prep. I'm sure that a lot of this I'm going to be eating over the next couple of days. So without any further ado, let's get started. Blue, what are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? <laughs> okay, we're just gonna start by making what I call a big sandwich. It's kind of like just a sub sandwich. I go to my local King Supers, it's a Kroger store, and they have these big loaves of their fresh baked bread from their bakery. Um, it's really inexpensive and really good. It's nice and soft, which I like because it makes it easy to cut and easy to eat. This one is their um, whole grain seeded one. I'm just gonna cut this in half. So I have some vegan mayo that I'm just going to spread on one side of the sandwich. I also have some spicy brown mustard. Then I like to sprinkle some nutritional yeast and I have nutritional yeast that I buy in bulk at my natural food store and I just keep it in a jar or several jars throughout the house actually. Then I have some homemade hummus. Of course you can use store-bought hummus if you like. Now I'm gonna put on some of this beautiful <laughs> avocado. So now I'm going to add my cucumbers and some red onion, some bell peppers, but this has always been one of my favorite sandwiches to take to the hot springs. There are a lot of hot springs in Colorado and we love to go to the hot springs. Next I'm going to add some Kalamata olives. I should have grabbed a fork for this, but we'll just do our best with what we have here. This is the brand that I'm using. Um, I like the hickory smoked. These um, Daya provolone slices. Okay, and then I'm going to put a bunch of greens down. You could use sprouts instead. And one last thing, I was going to do some pickles on here, but I forgot to buy some. But I did have some beautiful pickled onions in my refrigerator that I've shown in my Mexican meal prep video. If you wanna see how to make those, I'll link that recipe in the description box below. I know we already have onions in this sandwich, but I did want a pickled element. Now the hard part is flipping this thing over, so I'm gonna do the bottom over the top. Like so, yay. And then I'll just flip this. And I'm just gonna store this in the refrigerator as it is right now because we're not gonna be eating until like dinner time. Okay, the next thing I'm making is a delicious bean salad. So we're gonna start by making the dressing. So we're going to start with just some olive oil. Then we're going to add two tablespoons of white wine vinegar and about two tablespoons of lemon juice, which is usually half a lemon, depending on the size of your lemon, of course. Then we're going to add one tablespoon of sugar. This is organic cane sugar, but you can use whatever you have on hand. 
and a half teaspoon of salt. It's optional, but I like a little bit of heat, so I'm gonna put a little bit of sriracha in there. And then we're just going to whisk that together really well. Whoops. And then we'll just set that aside for a second. So I have my veggies already chopped up. I've got some carrot here. I just use a small carrot because I'm using some of the leftover yellow bell pepper from the sandwich that I didn't use. And also the rest of the red onion that I had cut for the sandwich. Some celery and some fresh basil from the garden. I've got a variety of beans. Um, this is a three bean salad. So I've got kidney beans and garbanzo beans or chickpeas. And then I had some black beans already opened. So I'm going to add all of those into my bowl. I'm also going to add some more of those Kalamata olives cause I just love them. I'm going to add all my veggies. You saw Blue sniffing this in the garden earlier. I think he really likes the smell of it. He tends to be attracted to that plant. But he doesn't eat it. He likes to eat grass. <laughs> so I'm just gonna give this another quick little stir before I, whoops, pour it in there. Got a little excited there. And just mix that all up. And look at that, there's so many colors in there. You wanna do this in a bowl with a lid if you can, because then you can just pop it right in the refrigerator. And of course it is best if it's been marinating for a little while. I'm gonna give that a little bit of a try to see if it needs a little bit more salt and pepper or anything. Mmm. Mmm, that is so good. I think it's perfect the way it is. If anything, I would put just a little more hot sauce. <laughs> Delicious and healthy three bean salad for our picnic. I'm just gonna put a lid on that and stick it in the fridge. So the next thing we're going to make are some delicious lemon cupcakes. Getting a little bit decadent here, but my family loves baked desserts and I haven't been baking much lately because it's been hot. And we have some nice cool weather now, so I thought I would take the opportunity to bake one of my family favorites, which is lemon cupcakes. So because we're not cooking with eggs and cakes usually call for eggs, I have two different things I'm going to use for these cupcakes. First, I have some aquafaba, which is just the liquid from a can of chickpeas. So those chickpeas that I used earlier for the bean salad, I just reserved the liquid, and we're gonna use some of that. And we're also going to use some of this egg replacer, which is basically a potato starch. I'm using this Kite Hill plain yogurt. I'm also going to put in a teaspoon of vanilla extract, the zest from an organic lemon, and then I'm just going to cut the lemon in half, and I'm gonna squeeze all the juice from that lemon in there. Pour that in. So I'm starting out with some country crock uh, plant butter. You can use any kind of brand you like, of course, but I've been liking this one lately, not only for the flavor, but because it seems to be the cheapest one out there. And I'm going to add a cup of granulated sugar. Again, I'm using organic cane sugar. And I like to do this by hand. It is a little more work, but if you use um, a hand mixer, the butter tends to just get stuck in between the blades and you have to keep stopping and getting the butter out and it's just a real pain. If you have a big stand mixer, you could use it in there. So you can see this is actually coming together pretty quickly. 
you just keep kind of pressing down on it and that really mixes the sugar and the butter together. So that looks pretty good and really that only took a minute. So now we're going to add our egg mixture. <laughs> so we have our egg replacer here. And then I'm going to use a quarter cup of that aquafaba. I find that a quarter cup is about equal to a large egg. And the combination of the two of these is just going to give it a really nice um, texture that mimics what eggs would be in this recipe. I'm putting in one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. If you're gluten-free, um, you can probably just use a good gluten-free all-purpose flour. I haven't tried it yet, but I have tried it in other recipes and it works pretty well. We also need two teaspoons of baking powder. So now I'm going to grease my muffin tins and I like to just take a little bit of vegan butter, put it into each little tin. I'm using big muffin cups for this because it just makes six. They're kind of large but when you're eating them you could always, you know, share it with someone, <laughs> split it in half if you want to. And then we're going to divide our batter evenly between the cups. And <laughs> you could use some kind of like ice cream scoop or something to do this, but I'm just gonna eyeball it. You just wanna have an even amount in each cup. So I'll just start by putting a little bit in and we'll add more as needed. Now I'll put these in the oven at 350 degrees for 20 to 25 minutes. I have a cup of powdered sugar here and the juice from that last half of a lemon that I had. So I'm just going to pour that right in. And then I'm just going to whisk that together. And you can see that I have the cupcakes on a cooling rack that is over a baking sheet. This is just to make easy cleanup because this frosting is going to go all over the place. It's very drippy. 